Welcome back to Business Mathematics 2 MA1203. So we are still going to discuss about the second order difference equation. Now we are going to talk about the steady state solution. Okay, I remember again what is steady state solution of a first order difference equation. Do you remember? YSS is very good. B divided by 1 minus A if A is not 1. Okay, yeah. Uh, equivalently, what is the steady state solution of the second order difference equations? What about the behavior in the long time? Will it converge to the steady state solution or no? So this is the steady state solution of homogeneous second order difference equation. Yeah, because you have this is y plus a y plus b y equals c. So you have y equals c divided by one plus a plus b by factor factor out y here yeah so this is the y steady state solution if a plus b plus one doesn't equal to zero don't forget when we are talking about the uh, steady state solution this is not a homogeneous yeah this is wrong this is wrong so when we are talking about the steady state solution this is wrong not homogeneous when we talk about the steady state solution we are talking about gt that is a constant gt that is a constant Okay, it can be zero, but it can be either a constant also. Okay, yeah? if you have uh, the GT is just a constant, then you will have a steady state solution if 1 plus A plus B is not zero. If you have 1 plus A plus B is zero, then you do not have the Y steady state solution. Okay, yeah? uh, so if R1 is between minus 1 and 1, and R2 is between minus 1 and 1, it will converge to the steady state solution. The same, yeah? If R1 and R2 equals 1, it will converge to YT itself. Okay, yeah? In other case, the solution do not converge to the steady state solution or even to YT. Okay, okay then. Uh, next, we are going to talk about the non-homogeneous second order difference equation okay yeah? previously we have already discussed this one a, a non-homogeneous with gt is just a constant what if gt is not constant maybe an exponential function or a polynomial what uh, what should we do that is method that uh, we usually call undetermined coefficient method okay yeah? we will talk about this in the uh, session after this. Thank you.